Welcome back folks, Last Nomil here and we are playing The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. It's made by the Astronauts Game Studio and uh, <clears throat> I can say that they've done an awesome job. This game is so beautiful, it's done in Unreal Engine and I love it, I love it so much how they, they did the shadows, the lighting, the everything is so well done and I can say this is one of the most beautiful games I've played in a while so we're gonna go start a new game because I already played a little bit so we're gonna go overwrite my previous progress and let's see what this game has to offer Ethan Carter I didn't know but he knew who I was. When the police won't help you and the priests don't believe you, you call on Paul Prospero. You call on me. If you're a kid like Ethan, you're right. Plenty do. Ethan's letter started out just like any other fan mail. But soon there were mentions of things no little boy should know about. There are places that exist that very few people can see. Ethan could have drawn a map. I hadn't entered Red Creek Valley yet, but already I could feel its darkness reaching out for me. Finding Ethan Carter wasn't going to be as easy as knocking on his door. I was too late for that. To find Ethan, I had to figure out what this place was trying to hide from me. Awesome. So, actually, the overall story is that uh, Paul Prospero, the guy we're, we're actually playing, is that detective, paranormal detective, which actually goes um, to these places and see what the hell is going on. And we're getting a letter from Ethan Carter, and actually, um, when people don't believe you, when the police don't believe you, you go and call on me, and we go and, you know, solve the crime. So, let's see. What can I do? Wow, this game is so god and beautiful. Whoa, ah! Holy sh Fuck! Alright. It's beautiful and scary. Sense. Oh god. Oh god. Let's see this. Strap. Hold. Let's see. Why the hell this thing? God damn it! Try to kill me. Hmm. Was tied to this tree over there. Holy god. I am not in like two minutes into this game and people already want to kill me. Wow. And you have to actually find other clues. Um to to actually um to go and see what the hell is going on, but uh so far so good. Anyway, um as I said, this game is made by the astronauts game studio and they they really oh done oh god damn it another trap what is this for okay we're almost ready we have to find a few traps more and we are ready to investigate this thing holy crap this is this is this is scary this is scary but also beautiful like every single shot look at this it's, it's I'm looking at a photo Oh, this is a trap. I can see this. I can see this. Oh, yeah. I saw it. Not a well-made trap, guys. Not a well-made trap. Let's see if it's gonna show me. Almost there, guys. Almost there. We need one more trap. Holy crap. I've seen actually that not a lot of people know about these traps. They actually just run past them. Okay, one more. Where could it be? Where could it be? There we go, there we go. <laughs> Alright, let's sense this now. I think actually <laughs> we managed. Oh, I need like one more. Oh. One more trap. One more trap will do. What are these traps made for? Animals? God damn it. I'm not gonna go there yet. I need my last trap, guys. Mm. Where could the last trap be? Okay, we got... Two traps on the left. There could be one more trap. Yeah, we're like almost there. Yeah. Just one more trap and we are ready to investigate this thing. 
Mm, where could it be? I don't know. It's like... I'm gonna sprint this a little bit. Just to see if there's any traps around this place. Here, nope. Nothing. No, apparently this game has a lot of easter eggs. If you can find all of them, that's that's amazing. Okay, one more. I don't see it. There's this trap over there. Here, that uh, I'm going to be disappointed if I don't if I don't find it actually. Ah. Uh, too bad I can't find it. Maybe there's something over here in this place. Mm, no, and what's amazing about this game, it's non-linear. It, it doesn't carry your hand, you don't have to follow a certain pattern to actually get um, through the game, you just go and play it. And that's why this game is so beautiful. It's like, you, you have to actually explore on your own and figure out every single thing before you do anything else. It does remind me a little bit of Sherlock because you have to go and explore, and you know, I'll show you how it is, because he actually, you know, ah, there is the last trap, there we go, hold, come on, is it gonna show me something now, oh yeah, it will, now, nah. holy snap, there's a lot of bones, oh, we gotta read this, let's see, let's see, by Ethan Carter, Sap. An old man came to the forest every day to drink sap from the trees. Hmm. To get there, the old man had to step around many dangerous traps. The villagers believed this old man had a hidden jade amulet in the forest. But the old man wanted the villagers to believe this, because when they would search the forest a treasure and not drink this, his sap, one cool fall night, someone set fire to the forest, and the fire spread to the village. The old man escaped the fire by covering himself in sap. When he returned to the village, he found all the villagers' bones. The old man sat down and cried. Then he found more sap to drink. Wow. Ethan, I told you, you can't be here. But Grant, I wrote something for you. That's real nice. Thank you. Just, just leave it. I'll read it later. So apparently Ed is Eaton's grandfather. What's this? One dead in house fire. Hmm. Albert. Hmm. Kale Carter was pronounced dead at 58. Oh god. Well. We're gonna see this later. Mm, assisting. Wow, is this the letter? Yeah, this is the letter. So this is about the sap. Wow, so good! Like, you have to go and explore this thing. Damn! Even though this, it's like, what I like about a game like this is, like, there's a lot of things. Like, you just, you're at this new place. There isn't anyone around, you have to find out where the people are hiding. Where the hell are they? And uh, you have to do all kinds of stuff to actually um, just find all of them. Wow. It's beautiful. So look at this. Creek Valley seemed like a quiet, ordinary place. I've learned two things in my life. No place is truly quiet and nowhere is really ordinary. That is true. Warn me about that. Warn me not to be fooled by what I saw here. He didn't need to worry. I'd worked dozens of cases, hundreds. This would be my last one. Yeah, the detective cliche, finishing his own last case. But overall, there is a dam right over there. I can see a house, maybe. Hmm. This valley is just beautiful, and this bridge. It's old, man. It's like... was laying here for a very long time. And judging by the overall trees and stuff, it's... It's autumn or fall, if you want to call it like that. It's like, how they've done the shadows, the light, the, the, those small particles. It's just beautiful. The amount of work they put in 
This game is so good. Just look every single, every single s detail. Look at these in these far, in these far hills. You can see it. In these mountains and hills. All right, let's uh, see this inspect. Okay, blood animal, human. Could be human. It's a murder. Hmm. That's why I said about Sherlock. You have these little words coming out everywhere, popping on the screen. Crank, 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 crank. There's the crank. There we go. Oh. Okay, the crank is by the water. Oh, it's quite near because I can see the dam. Oh god, good. Good, 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 good. Judging by this train, it's quite old, but uh, everything else down there, it's. Uh, this train has definitely been moved. Hmm. Why would you leave a train on the on a bridge? I wouldn't do that. Let's let's go and see. Maybe there's something down there. I can go and uh, explore. It's like it, the atmosphere in this game is so beautiful. It's like I can't even describe how much it is beautiful. Oh god, random FPS drops. Oh, inspect. See, cut ties. Mm -mm. Whoever placed this wanted you place someone on this rail and then go over him with that train. Rope. Mm -mm. Oh, oh god, oh god, oh god. Legs, 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 legs. Oh, snap. Let's see, rest of the corpse. Yeah, this is brand new. The, the blood is still fresh. Mm, severed legs. Well, whoever placed him, why did he place a rope down here and then maybe the guy wanted to escape? Let's follow the blood. Oh god, there's someone here. Well, this is a corpse. Blood from legs. Oh. Fractured skull. Cause of death. Head trauma. I would say head trauma. Definitely. Because he, he did lose blood, but uh, he was bashed. He was bashed um, in the head by something. Let's uh, let's scout down below a little bit. What, what's this? Mm, gasoline. Diesel fuel. Mm, dropped. Canister. Well, let's see this dried grass. Oh, I get it. No sun. Rectangular shape. Yep, that that's that's my assumption. Real car. Old. Yep, that's it. That's our rail car. Definitely, it was here. So my assumption is whoever actually tried to kill this guy. Uh, the train was here, we actually filled it up with fuel, but that guy was tied. And then what happened is that guy actually untied himself and tried to get here, but... What could be the thing is when the cart was moving, this guy kind of a... You know, was here, and then the train was moving and this, our killer, went to the body, to the guy, Placed his legs on the on this tracks and then eh, ran over it. And wh then what happened is that guy was crawling down here, and he was hit and bashed by the head. And uh, because of the head trauma, this guy died. Holy shit! I'm smart. <laughs> okay, let's go find that crank thing. And apparently, by the looks of it, that crank thing was definitely down here. Let's see, I just need to find the murder weapon because he was definitely hit by something, but uh, could be because there's a bunch of rocks here. He was definitely hit by either a rock or something sturdy, but uh, because his head was actually bashed in, he was definitely hit by a rock. This is a rocky area. Now let's find that crank. Where could it be? Where could it be? Oh, there it is. There's a crank inspect. Yep. There's a blood on it. Hmm. Could have been hit with this. If there is a blood on this thing. Or just a killer when he actually killed that guy with this crank. He killed him and he dropped um 
this crank by the river. Maybe he thought that the blood is gonna wash it off, but uh, the sea or the this river didn't wash it up. God damn it, this is so good. Touch? No, I don't wanna touch it yet. We still have a lot of things to do. All right, let's go and um, use this crank thing on actually on the on the overall cart and let's move it back to the crime scene because we have to actually move it back in order to reimagine the crime scene. All right, let's uh, let's put the crank thing here and tap this thing. Come on, there we go. It's running. It's running. Now. Let's move it back, all the way back, in order to get something. Wow, this game is beautiful. Look, look at how well it's done. The, the amount of foliage and everything, it's, it's, wow. Let's uh, put it gently right close to the canister, canister. Oh, we missed the canister, wow. Uh, could be here. Let's see. I, ah, yes, there's the canister. So, this train was packed here. Po it was parked here. Then it dropped the canister. And then this guy actually wanted to... Because this guy was definitely running away. Okay, severed legs. Let's see the... This guy, hold. Okay, I can see the guy. We're almost done. We're almost done with this. Let's find some more clues. Uh. Uh, no. Could be something else. I don't want to turn off the, the cart. Uh, what's this? Oh, inspect. Rock, rock, divot, uh, fresh dirt. Yeah, this was, this was this was removed. Yep, there is a rock. Well, let's see, where do we, where do we? Oh, okay, hold. Come on, hold! Come on! Let's see, uh... Whoa, 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 I know that stump, it's right there! Oh, good! We found a murder weapon! It's a rock! Nice, nice! Let's get over there and quickly, uh... Where is that stump? There it is, inspect! There we go, zoom! Yeah, I, this guy was definitely bashed in with this. So, killer went over here, so where our killer, he came from that place over there, from that forest. So after this, we gotta follow him. Okay, we got a rock there. We got all set. Could, could be this the end. We can actually go and see our guy. Maybe reimagine the crime scene again. Let's see if it's gonna work. Oh yes, it's working. Let's see. Hmm. Whoa. Oh, this is... This is awesome. Now, let's see, we have our guy over here, and he's probably there. Let's move up to the crime scene a little bit up where he was. Let's see this. Oh, yeah. Well, he was definitely moved. Let's see if I can find anything here. Oh, snap, that's our killer. This guy is our killer. That's the kid. Is this Ethan? Oh god, I just... Hey, I just had it all wrong! So this is Ethan? Could be. This is our killer. Hmm. Whoa, so the kid unties himself. Oh, the kid unties himself, and guess what? The Ethan could run the train so easily so that uh, he could sever his legs and then he was moving down here. No, there was someone else. Oh. There was this guy with a crank thing. Well, Ethan doesn't look scared. Good, so this guy came along and bashed this guy into a head. Yep. He bashed him in the ass head, took the crank thing down there, and dropped it. Oh. Hmm. They were friends. 
This doesn't make any sense. They were friends, but still. Let's see what's down there. Chronology tag. Okay, this was one. No, 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 no. This was one. Um. This was one. Uh, they were chatting. Let's see. He could have easily. Yeah, this could be the second one. Yeah, definitely. I'm gonna go with two. Because he was already tying him. And then this could be three. Yep. This could be four. Four. Five. Six. Visualize. Let's see now. This could be the thing. Oh, this is Ed. His grandpa. Listen to me. We can destroy it. I know how. You can't destroy it, Ethan. You can't destroy time. And that's what he is. He is forever. Oh, God. Could be a cult or something. Travis, tell me where Ethan is. Now. I'm giving the sleeper what he wants. What all of us want. Look, old man. You need to go home. <gasps> oh, that's right. So this guy comes. He's his friend. He's, yeah, he's Ethan's grandfather overall. Oh, yeah. Then the train comes. Bam. Severed his legs. And then he was walking and walking. And then his grandpa comes. Go. Get out of here. There is something much more involved. And then he bashed his head. Close your eyes. Holy crap. Whoa, what's this? Well, I'm gonna follow it. Oh, crap. Oh, there it is. You gotta go and chase it. You gotta go and chase this thing. Maybe this is our last piece of the puzzle. Grandpa? Stay away! Ethan, I'm sick too. I can feel the sleeper in my head. Then fight it! I have to destroy the room! Corvus, I'm sorry. Ethan. Oh no! I can't let you do that. Oh, snap. Well, I actually I went for the sane part. Family against him. The grandfather was trying to resist. Age helps against those things that feed on hate. Not because of wisdom or experience. Because the old are tired. Their hate is less useful. Wow. So basically what's going on is that there's a sleeper who is um, doing something to their heads and uh, Ethan is the only person who can actually try to destroy the room. So the room could be, could be our goal and uh, he is going this way. So guys, don't forget to actually go and smash that like and subscribe button because I will be mopping up things here and uh, actually finishing my recording here. If you want to see more of this game, I'm going to leave it to you. If you want to see more, go there, um, leave me in the comments, and I will be playing more of Ethan Carter um, on my channel. This game is just so interesting and beautiful, and I want to find out what the hell happened to Ethan and his grandfather. Because I know that uh, Ethan was running this way. So, guys, as I said, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button, don't forget to comment, and also we have my Twitter and Facebook um, page, you can go there and follow me up on all the, all the news and stuff. So, let us know me signing out, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye!